Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that will well. Peace, blessing, and grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom to the hope for elect. It's all your call from the men of the South Carolina camp coming with another lesson. And this one is going to be um about um Egyptian versus Egyptian, basically. All right, because we are in the time of the Babylonian election, right on November 3rd. <clears throat> I think it's election day or whatever. Okay, and you have uh, two sets of devils uh, uh, running. All right, you got the Democrats and you got the Republicans. Okay, which are all Edomites, man. You got Edomite versus Edomite. All right, and this is a, a sign that, uh, you know, this nation is going down, man. All right, uh, because the two political parties are. Uh, so-called beefing, man. All right, you you see the commercials for the politicians, and they be going in on each other. All right, calling each other uh, uh names and whatnot. All right, so uh, the scripture speaks about uh a kingdom being divided, and this kingdom is divided. Babylon the Great is divided between the Democrats and the Republicans. All right, uh, between uh, uh Jacob and Esau is divided, man. All right, so Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua is going to come back on earth. And put this uh, world in complete order under the order of uh, him, under Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, so this is about to be a little lesson, um, you know, nation against, I mean, uh, kingdom, uh, kingdom divided, Egyptian versus Egyptian, you know, so like it. So it, uh, on this article it says, NJ.com, 11 huge differences between Democrats and Republican 2020 platforms. It says, uh, America's two major political parties view the world in different ways. In fact, it's not an exaggeration to describe the Democrats and Republicans as one, 180 degrees apart on so many issues. All right, so hey, these devils not agreeing on anything anymore. All right. So uh, let's see what the scriptures talk about a kingdom being divided. And, you know, bring out some scriptures. All right, this is Isaiah 19 and 2, and I will say, the Egyptian against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, sit, neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, this you got the Egyptians against the Egyptians, you got the Edomites against the Edomites. All right, you got the good old boy Edomites, all right, the ones that love America, one uh, that's, that's fine with Edomite supremacy, <clears throat> all right, that uh, proud to be an Edomite, proud to be a so called white man. Then you got the conservative Edomites, the uh, Justice for All Edomites, man. Okay. This is Mark chapter 3 and verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And America is divided against itself, man. All right. That's why this place is not standing. That's why this place is on a rapid decline or rapid downfall. All right. Because these Edomites are uh, all divided up now. It's not back in the. 1800s where everybody hated niggas and uh, uh, Mexicans, all right, <laughs> and Hispanics or whatnot. All right, now these uh, Edomites have different views and all kind of things, all right. So this kingdom is totally divided, all right. As you see, all right, uh, this is a clear example, man, of a kingdom being divided, all right. Verse 25, if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. All right, Babylon the Great is totally divided against itself. That's why this place is going down. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. All right, and Satan uh, going against Satan, man. All right, and it's a beautiful thing to see these, uh, these heathens fighting amongst each other, man. All right. Oh, yeah, that was it on verse 26. You know, it was just something I thought about in the spirit real quick. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh shall knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. All right, so Babylon the Great is not standing. It's divided against itself. Divided against itself, all right? It's going to be brought to desolation, man. That's why... Yeah, how about Shem Yahshua? I got the prophets out on the highways and byways uh, chanting this thing down through the uh, scriptures. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that out real quick. Um, lesson while I'm on my break and whatnot. You know, 
So a Egyptian against a Egyptian, man, a kingdom divided uh, us a fall. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, man. And Babylon the Great is falling. Call Halal Yahweh by Simi outside. Salawam.